You know, in the 1970s, we had a lot of pop and uh, rock kings of the decade. Andy Kim, Rennie Sabard, uh, Burton Cummings, uh, and this guy. Boys, uh, looks to burn. Kind of the charisma of like an Italian movie star. Should have went into movies. He would have done a lot of money. But Gino Vanelli stayed true to himself, and he still remains one of the greatest performers in Canadian history. Now, uh, he had several hit songs in the 70s and 80s. His best-known songs include People Gotta Move, I Just Want to Stop, which ended up being uh, nominated for a Grammy, uh, 1978. Kind of a pop disco song, Living, in, Living Inside Myself, and he wanted Wild Horses. Now, Vanelli was born to an Italian family in Montreal. His father, Joseph Russ Vanelli, sang with the Montreal dance bands of trumpeteers Bix Belair and Maynard Ferguson. His early ambition was to be a drummer. He admired Gene Krupp and Buddy Rich, and he played drums in a pop band and where he was in high school. In 69, at the age of 17, he signed a contract with RCA using the name Van Eli. He studied music theory at McGill University in Montreal. Now, Vanelli and his brother Joe, very close, they moved to L.A. in 72. Desperate and broke, they waited for hours in a parking lot outside A&M, hoping to get a record deal. When Herb Alpert, the co-owner of A&M Records, finally emerged, Vanelli ran toward him and gave him a demo tape while being chased by security guards. Albert signed Vanelli and released his debut album, Crazy Life, in the summer of 73. Now, Vanelli was a, one of the first Caucasians, Dennis Coffey being the very first since January 72, to appear on a television dance program, Soul Train. In 74, he was invited to tour Stevie Wonder. Very handsome man, very pers- uh, personable, very charismatic, and the male and uh, the male and female of the audience loved him. Now, he eventually released an album, Just of the Gemini, in 1976, through A&M Records. He's a 78 album, Brother to Brother, also at A&M, uh, broke him through in the market, produced the single, I Just Want to Stop, which reached number four in the Billboard magazine chart, number one in Canada, and received a Grammy nomination. And it put Montreal on the rock map because he mentions Montreal as his romantic muse for the song. His next a- album, Nightwalker, also produced a top 10 hit, Living Inside Myself, which is a very underrated song. Now, he received the Juno Awards for Most Promising Male Vocalist of the Year in 75. In 76, and again in 79, he received Junos for the Best Male Vocalist. He and his brother Joe, his musical partner during those years, shared the Juno for Best Production for Brother to Brother in 79. Now, despite the success of uh, singles Black Hers and Hurts to Be in Love in 85, as well as Wild Horses in 87, after his 79 World Tour, Vanelli appeared live only sporadically through the 1980s. And, of course, he made that famous Juno appearance uh, where he would never, you know, go into public. Now, departing from the jazz pop idiom, Vanelli released two largely acoustic jazz discs, Yonder Tree in 95 and Slow Love in 97. Subsequent to producing the album Hitek Hiku for Danish jazz, art, uh, jazz, jazz pianist Niels Landdoki, Vanelli revisited his interest in Western classical music with the song Parole para mi padre, words from my father dedicated to his late dad, and composed in the style and tradition of Schubert. The recording came to the attention of Pope John Paul II, who requested a performance of the song at the Vatican. Televised in Europe, the event caught the attention of the head of BMG Records, who subsequently asked Vanelli to record a contemporary classical disc in the style of Parole de mo, para mi padre, canto, Released by BMG in 2003, it features songs sung in English, Italian, Spanish, and, and French. Uh, now, is considered by fans of Vanelli himself be one of the strongest musical accomplishments and one of the most underrated Canadian albums of the last 50 years. Now, uh, in 2008, Vanelli became a symbol of sorts for the NBA's championship run by the Celtics. After each blowout home victory during the 2008 season, the video crew to TD Banquet Garden played a clip from Dick Clark's American Bandstand that featured a bearded disco dancer clad in a tight Gino Vanelli t-shirt. The tradition became known in Boston as Gino Time, and Gino t-shirts became common at Celtics games. Now, uh, the Wall Street Journal reported in 2008 that the dancer in the Gino shirt was a young man named Joseph R. Masoni, and he died of pneumonia in 1990 at only age 34. Now, People Gotta Move became a small hit again in the Netherlands in 2008 after the song was used in a commercial on TV and radio of the ANWB Dutch Road Assistance. Now, on May 13, 2014, 
Vanelli's Live in LA CD DVD compilation was released by Sono Recording. The presentation was recorded live on stage at the historic Saban Theater in LA on November 8, 2013, which represented Vanelli's first performance in LA since the late 1990s. The recording also marks the first stage on, on stage collaboration in many years between the three Vanelli brothers, including Ross as producer, editor, and mixer. Now he currently resides in Troutdale, Oregon, where he's an active as a music teacher and it continues to form perform Trope North America. Uh, again, Best Male Artist, 76, 79, the Junos, Recording Engineer of the Year with Joe Vanelli, 86, 87, 91, and of course the Grammy nomination, I Just Want to Stop. Now, uh, on the charts, uh, again, uh, he's more, his Canadian albums would get mid 20s to mid 60s, but again, Brother to Brother went top three in Canada, big, big in the Netherlands as well, and but uh, Night, Nightwalker uh, uh, went 18 in Canada, Black Hours 17, Big Dream is Never Sleep 18, and but the singles again, uh, uh, tremendous, tremendous uh, results. People Gotta Move, number 22 in 1974 in the States. I Just Want to Stop uh, went top four. Uh, Living Inside Myself went top six. Uh, Black Cars did the best in Canada, but I Just Want to Stop again. Uh, they have one of the number one singles in Canada in 1978. His last big Canadian hit, of course, was The Time of Date. Now, it's I'm wondering if the modern era has forgotten Gino Vanelli. Well, I haven't forgotten him. And uh, it's kind of weird. We were kids, the Gino Vanelli parody on SCTV where he was singing, uh, I Just Want to Stop, where the Eugene Levy uh, character t- turns into a uh, werewolf. It's kind of a crossover out of the fact he was so hairy. But Gino Vanelli, again, to have somebody like Burton Cummings, Rennie Simard, Andy Kim, and him as the heart drops, of the Canadian pop and rock uh, genre. But Gino, very talented guy, a cerebral guy, a Renaissance man, a good Italian family, good good Italian brothers. I am so proud to do this podcast because when we were in the 70s, we only have certain Canadian artists, including the Guess Who and the Stan Peters and the BTO and Ready Samar, Gino Vanelli, Patsy Galant. They were the standard bearers for Canadian pop music throughout the world or pop rock, uh, Trooper and Murray. If you grew up in the 1970s and 80s, Gino Vanelli, and these videos were tremendous. You look at, uh, you know, Black Cars, very new wavy pop, like a jazz new wave mix. Uh, very interesting in a transgender video, too, because men were playing women, women were playing kind of men, if you really look closely. And Wild Horses, of course, was a was a big, uh, you know, uh, party party song back there, Dave. So Gino Vanelli, thank you for all, all you've done. If you like what you're doing here in our Vintage Tribute Podcast, the Canadian artist, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. I just want to stop and tell you what I feel about you, babe. Singing like Jeremy Roenick. I mean, we were kids, boys, Gino, but you put them on the tape deck. Uh, you know, every, uh, summer parties or, you know, winter get-togethers, teen dance, legion dance, whatever. Gino put them on. Everybody was happy. So, again, thank you, Gina Vanelli, for who you are. Have a great day with day, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Labor Day weekend. As we like to say in Canada, you got to go with that 1970s Canadian pop if you want to get the good memories of what our great nation was like in, uh, in that era. Thanks for listening. Bye.